What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we're back from the Keys, but we're not done with Keys videos. For those of y'all who haven't watched any of my videos and this is your first one, my name's Gabriel Arrington and I do catch, clean, and cooks. My YouTube name is Blue Gabe, which you already know that because you clicked on this video. For those of y'all that do follow me, a ton of y'all have been asking me to allow my kids to start doing some videos. So I picked my favorite fish in the world, a barracuda, and I gave my 11 year old son, Jake, full reins to my channel. He made his entire video from start to finish. All I did was video and help him out along the way just a little bit. Y'all see that bobcat though? We're about to tear out my old busted up driveway and all this rock and pour it all in solid brand new concrete. For those of y'all who don't know as well, that's what I did for 20 years of my life. I ran bobcats for my dad and we tore down houses and tore out driveways, put in septic tanks, tore out trees and put in new trees for 20 straight years until I started YouTube. So, hey, enough of that. Let's take it back to the keys. Jake's gonna do the intro and y'all will enjoy this video because I've already edited it and it was so fun to watch how he did it. It's all him. Let's go to the keys. What's up everybody, Blue Jake, and today we're out here in the Gulf, we're gonna catch some kudos, then we're gonna bring them in, clean them, and cook them. We got the favorite rod offshore, the Ozuri jerkbait, got a little bit of wire on it. Let's see what we can do. We've just seen some pretty big ones out here, so. When you use the jerkbait, you just wanna jerk it twice, reel in the slack, and just keep doing it. Chasing it? We might have to take a run. Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. Yep. <laughs> I knew something was chasing it. Luke, step back out of your brother's way. He's going to flip him in. Flip him in. Woo! Grouper tacos for everybody. Grouper. Or, sorry, my bad. Take two. <laughs> Barracuda tacos for everybody. Ooh. Hold on, Jake. Here. Get your Dankos. I need my Dankos. Those are mine. Those are my dad. The Sorry. thing is, when you have fish like these that like to flop around, that had it in the macro video. He got when this when it shook, this thing went all the way in his finger. This treble hook, so. There we go. There we go. Alright. Beautiful. Now this ain't the biggest one, but it's a good way to start the day. Put him in the bay well. All right, that's a good well. eating one. Yeah. Jake, yeah, did balance. you catch a barracuda in your video? Yeah. All right. Let's see if Jack can catch one. Get in there, boy. Y'all ready to fish? Yep. yep. What about All your right. YouTube channel? Tell them about your YouTube channel. Uh, it's BC Fishing. Say uh, what? Space in the middle. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, let me guess. Do you fish on the YouTube channel? Yep. Awesome. See what you got, Pops. I didn't catch one. These bigger barracudas, because there's no bait here. See that one right there swimming? There's no bait. They're not as active as they should be. Mm -hmm. So it's making them a little bit more tricky to catch. But oh, Island Key and I will get in and shoot one in the face. Oh, you got that right. I need to really let my kid have his video back, I guess. I know. <laughs> well, he had to go put his fish in the box, so. Or you I can, think you we, can... Need to, we need to go back over to that other spot where they're actually actively feeding. That's where I thought we were going. That's where we need to go. <laughs> you tell All right, Waylon, you're up first. You and Jake can cast, and then right. Tyler, Tyler, Taylor, Taylor, then Taylor can cast. You two don't hook each other. I'm getting out of the way. Right. <laughs> Same here. There we go. Waylon, Waylon on the board. Here. Luke, get away from that lure. Alright, put him in the well. Alright. Two kudas in the well. Hey, you know what that means? You get to eat dinner tonight. Alright. <laughs> and I don't. Not until you catch one. You'll be a starving kid if you don't catch a barracuda. Well, Dad. I might let you have some of my spider crabs, though. Dad, you better let me have I will. Alright, y'all. Got a big one on. A big one. Big old big one. Kelly, get the net. Get the net. We got a monster. I'm gonna get in with everything. 
A monster! It looks weapon. like a shark! Step back. Oh no, the anchor off hole guy. This might be your biggest cuda ever. Maybe. Oh, hopefully. It might be a snook. You think it's a snook? A what? You think it's a big snook? We might need to gaff for this one. It's, why are you in your dive gear? I was just about to get in the water. Let me get my glasses on so I can see the fish. Is that a pocket knife behind you? So I was just casting just to see if I was going to catch something. We're about to get in the water and then I just hooked this huge fish. That's always when you catch the fish when you're just playing around. Always oh, hooked right in the side of his head. Uh-uh, I'm going to gaff him. Pump down a reel. Pump down a reel. Alright, you got him. Don't horse him. Don't horse him. Nice and easy. We got yeah. him. Woo! Woo! Oh, woo! Sarah. We're gonna be in him tonight. Hold that gap, son. Yes, sir. Thumbnail time. So Thumbnail. we came out here to catch Barracuda. And what did we catch? Cooties. Uh -huh. Big in too. Only yells are a jerk bait. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. But what rod do you use? Old salt pea favorite rod. Beyond braid. Oh yeah. Nice setup too. That's the biggest cute yeah. I've ever seen. Hey, thanks for coming with us today. Thanks for bringing my coolers. You're welcome. We've only been out here for like 10 minutes. Look at this fish. Here, keep that gap in him. I'll get this. Yeah. Hold him down, Jake. He ain't going nowhere. Have to sit on him. Three man job. Getting these troubles out. Mm, that's a good one. He wasn't coming off that. Look, you want to stick your finger in his mouth? <laughs> Bring that big old big daddy. Big old big. Bring that big old big back here. Is he I don't think fit? fit. Put him in there head first. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, big barracuda. Big barracuda. Oh, it is a big barracuda. So. We're out here catching barracudas and a feisty old shark just showed up and Jake said, it's my video, I want to catch it, so. No. When he picks it up, you got to let him eat it. What are you doing now? I'm trying to brush my hair after diving. Try to catch that big cuda, we need that for, yeah, that would be a, he came up and for the blue Jake catch, clean and cook. He chased my bait all the way up. Look, go get some chum out of the cooler and throw it in. Throw some but chummies we'll back need here. Some squid or sardines? Throw a little bit of both. We even have squid? Oh, yeah. Okay. We got squid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get him in. Get him in. Is it a big one? This is my first cuda. Rod tip up. Keep that up. rod tip up. Is that the wire one? Yeah. Loki. Why'd you reel it out of the way? That we shark's gonna come. No, we don't. Look, come here. Just flip him in the boat when you get him close. Reel down. Oh, that is a good one. Keep going. Reel down. Oh, it's a whopper. Babe. What? Should we net him or should we just let him flip him? Uh, okay. Oh, he might come off. Just swing him in here. One motion. Oh, no. Get him in the boat. I knew that was gonna happen. No, I, I just thought this about it. This is my it. first cuda. Hey. <laughs> Ever? Boom. Yeah, ever. That's I've boom, shakalaka. That's barracuda tacos. Yeah. Never What you one. think, Waylon? Tell you there's a bunch. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Luke. Get that shark bait out there. Yeah. Shark like... bait. Ooh, ha, ha. We can, <laughs> shark that's... bait. Ooh, na, na. We can use that whole, um, that whole barracuda's yeah, shark bait. Yeah. yeah. We'll catch a great white. As soon as I put the net in, I was like, oh, wait. Hold up. We need that cuda for dinner. I even notice him eat it. He Have you ever ate barracuda? Never. It's good. It is really good. <laughs> Go get your fish and put him in that bait well without getting bit. How do you not get bit? Put your hand in his gills or hold him right here by the tail. All right, I'll do it. Go open the, tail, the bait well. All right, good job. Jake, all you got left to do is catch a shark and you got a full video, son. There we go. It's gonna be a long day. Oh. <laughs> Keep that rod bent and put it in your hip and stand up straight. Dang, son. This is a big one. 
Hold on, let's tighten that drag up right here. You got a whale on or what? I might have. Look at that swirl out there. I think I got a blue whale. What kind is it? Probably a great white. Oh, oh, oh. Swirling right there. Head shakes are insane right now. Yep, he's kind of. Just nice and steady. Dude, if he does another head shake, I'm going to fly backwards. It is a lemon. Looks like a lemon shark. Come back to the back. You don't want him to get hung up. All right, you're good right there. He's good. The white should just be a nerf shark. That's a lemon shark. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a big one. All right, bring him over you here. You gonna bring him in the boat? Do He's those feisty. Mm -hmm. Bring him over here, back up. He ain't He's too happy. Big. He's feisty. There are more on him. This might be the same one y'all caught the other day. Back up, Jake. All right, be very careful, babe. All we've got is 20 pound Beyond Braid. Oh All right, Luke, back up. Oh. About cut my finger. Come over here now. Luke, go to the back. I'm gonna swing him in the boat. Oh yeah, everyone go to the back. Real Jake. Here, y'all stand up on this thing. Oh, oh he broke the line. Release. I see you, buddy. See hey. you, buddy. Good job. Man. Man. It's Shark Week, baby. Yeah. Oh, we're catching sharks. <laughs> what you think? You having fun today? Yep. On Discovery. Luke, you having fun? I think yeah. I tired him out. Oh, you think you tired him out, huh? You only think. How do you like that old salty, though? Good. Listen to that reel. Grind, boy, grind. Mm. That reel right there has been put through heck and back. Me just <laughs> trying to test it out to see exactly what it can handle. I think this is... And it, it has performed flawlessly. Ooh. Oh, he's gone again. You let him rest too much. You let him catch his breath. That is a huge shot. This is probably bigger than yours. Oh, way bigger. Alright, so pull your rod over here to this side. Where? Over here, pull this side. Big dude is a big shirt. Is he a lemon? And no way he has a remora on him. Big, big Back up, back up. Monster fish. Oh, like the show. You good, babe? You get you or the line? Shark bite! Oh, ha ha! <laughs> you actually, you have to bite? Can... Dude, did it hit his nose? Like, it's a record. Is there any tooth in you? Tooth in Do you want it if there is? Yeah. Hope that shark doesn't come up and bite your fingers off. Now the goal is not to drop him in the water as you transfer to the dock. If I drop him in the water, I'm going down there. <laughs> You're going to go get him? Woo, boy. Do I get to help in this process or no? No. <laughs> nope. All right, Dad's not helping. Looks like it's just me and Jake. So this is my first time ever cleaning a kuda, so I'm just going to do my best. All right. There you want go. to make sure you get that head meat. You want to hold it at an angle right here. Just keep going down with it. And you get here, just poke it through and finish it off. <clears throat> All in one motion. There. Alrighty. Oh, look at that white meat. Let me see. Say what? Have you ever eaten kuda before? Yeah, it's good. You like it? Yeah. Good. And once you find that bone in the middle, like their spinal cord, you want to bend it down so you don't waste any meat. So I got to step in here just for a second because this is the most common mistake I see everybody make when cleaning a fish. He left a little bit of tiny meat. Who cares? He's got so much meat on here. We will take this and use it for bait to catch more keeper mangroves right off the back. So I don't want to hear any comments that he left a bunch of meat. We can actually eat that. Here is the common mistake. What to do with this part right here where it's at on the head. So I take my knife, stick it in, and you cut that first pin bone. Once you cut that first pin bone, then you can lay it over and take your knife like that and start cutting it right down. 
so many people start coming from the back and they're trying to get it and they're trying to get it and they're trying to get it when in all reality the only thing that's holding it on is that first pin bone so you stick your knife in like this put pressure and pop it once you pop it then you can grab it with your thumb and go just like that so i think he did an amazing job and it's not just because he's my son kelly will tell you i'm extremely hard on these boys and i don't cut them any slack he missed just a little bit of meat, but guess what? I'm here to show him how to get it off. Now we can just as easily fry that. That's what's good about having a big cuda because we're so fat. So look, I want you to pay attention right here. Here's what I was talking about. I make that first cut. Pop that. Now I've got that first pin bone broke. This knife is so sharp though that you can just do this right here, Jake. Once you stick it through and get it out of that fin, Now, my knife's not flat. See, it's got some angle to it. Boop, just like that. And because I took that first initial cut and popped that pin bone, the rest of the filet come off very easily. Now look, Jake's not cleaned a ton of fish and that's all right. He's been learning how to drive the boat. I've been teaching him other aspects of the day to where he can really help me and he's been doing an amazing job. But everything with cleaning a fish has to do with the angle you hold your knife. That's everything. That's the most important part. And you don't hear a lot of people teaching that. Turn around, babe. That's a big piece. Oh my gosh. My hair. And see how I have it down? Yeah. It's all about the angle. I don't have to put a ton of pressure on my knife. I've got just this little dab right here to hold on to, and it's a push and pull situation. See how actually my knife's not moving. If you have a good sharp knife, you don't need to move your knife. Pew. Then now you can re-grip with your hand. Yeah, there you go. Keep that knife angled down. Here, let me show you. Now re-grab the skin right there. Grab it, there you go. There. Pressure, pressure. That's that thing with a long fish. <laughs> yeah, it's a long fish. I'll tell you what, you're doing a lot better job than my first pair could I've ever played. <laughs> now, good job. Here it looks like he left a little bit of meat, but in all honesty, you see how much cleaner the backside of his filet looked like? You don't get all that blood as much as I did. So he did a really, really good job. And we can use this. We need to do. We need to be the first to do a pelican catch, clean, and cook. Let's grab oh, this no. one. Get that knife, Jake. Come here. Stop it. Come here, Jake. They heard you. Y'all don't want to get ate? <laughs> you wiggled your tail. You want to be in the fryer? Come here. Here you go. Here you go, Jake. Get the knife. They're so cute. Watch this right on his head. I just teased him. We don't eat pelicans. Okay, we uh, just seasoned it with this stuff. We don't have Lowry's, but it's still good. A little bit of salt. Now we're about to, now we're about to flour it. But are you ready? See you guys, this, what's your name? Hunter. Hunter's our taste tester because his dad said that he's not sure barracudas taste good. Okay, get up real good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One by one into here. That's just two eggs and a little bit of milk. Set it in. I don't want to get it all over. That's fine. Put it right in there. Right here. Get all in those pink of red crumbs. Put it right there. Put it right here. Show them one more. Same thing, right here. Lay it right here. Two beautiful pieces of meat. All right, let's finish up the rest and then we'll show them how to cook it in that grease. Look at that brand new gator cooler though. In the picture, it literally made me cry when he sent the, me a video of this cooler. <laughs> So this is Mr. Andy Tucker. Andy Tucker. Hunter. Tucker. Hunter. Tiffany. Tiffany. Yeah. 
Hannah. And they're from South Carolina and they catch a ton of barracudas and they said they don't keep them. We're about to break them of that habit. But can you smell it? I can smell I it. Smell you yeah, smell it? I can prepare. I smell it. I smell it. Who smells, smells it? It, it does smell good. smell it. It doesn't smell, smell like the stinky barracuda does it. All right, that's good for right now. And dun, 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 dun. Mm. Done. All right, we got some hungry people over here. Let's see. All right, this plate's cooled off enough to where I think y'all can eat it. So they're, this one's a little bit browner because the grease was a lot hotter when we put it in there because we weren't quite ready yet. Oh. I'm the most interested in having him because he's a South Carolina. <laughs> they sound like they're from Louisiana, but they're from South Carolina and they catch tons of barracudas when they're wahoo trolling. He's like, I ain't saying you're slaying. I ain't eating them nasty things. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Hold on now, where's the honey? Where's the honey? Where's the honey? I got you. Gotta find you. It. I got you. That yum sauce is good oh, too. Yeah. Y'all ever eat this stuff? Uh, that is good. This is honey from our friends Mike and Marcy. She gave Long us. gan fruit. Long, Long gan. gan. That's, That's what, what the honey's sell. from. Oh. Cool. This is Get you a piece. Look at that. The right, there, right there, right there. <laughs> Wow. Are you gonna dip it in something? Or no, I'm, I'm gonna try it straight and it's see. It's good. Put okay. that close up. Oh, that's hot. Guarantee you won't throw that crap away. Tastes We're like, never letting this good. loose again. It tastes like the, um, oh, yeah? No. It tastes like the barracuda that we um, put in honey. Now, <laughs> you gotta do it. Really good. Oh, no, you, you gotta, gotta do it. it. Come here, let me see it before you take the last bite. Well, you gotta bite. open it. You gotta open it. Oh, yeah. they done give us honey that's not open. Marcy? Yeah. yeah, it's a new bottle. Now I'll take it to a whole new level. Never tried honey on whole fish. Whole new level. I don't know about honey. honey. It's South, South Florida style right here. Yeah. It is so much torture watching people eat this. <laughs> is that good? That's good. That is really good. We will not turn those loose anymore. You take a red snapper and clean it right alongside a barracuda and cook them the same. You'll eat that barracuda before a red snapper. Really? Mm -hmm. People get caught up on a, those big, big snapper because they're just beautiful red. To me, they don't taste near as good as these nice. Anywhere from three to a foot, they're really good. Jake, you did a really good job. Thank you. Is it hot? <laughs> you pick from the yeah. hot plate, silly. Oh, that's awesome. Were you expecting it to taste different? Yeah. No, I was expecting <laughs> a lot more mushy and I don't know, that's good. Flaky. That is this mm -hmm. barracuda. Good fish. That is right. Is this barracuda? Yep. You're up. This barracuda is delicious. Nobody even tried the tartar sauce. I tried. Get in there, boy. I can tell you want more. Y'all eat. We've got three cooking sections to do right now. Oh. I gotta make fried rice. He just made his barracuda, and you gotta make spider crabs. Spider crabs. You need to try tartar sauce. Too. Yummy. Yeah. It's good. All right, Jake. What do you gotta tell your fans? It's good. Mm. What about thanks for watching? Thanks for subscribing. Right, thanks if you for... haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that notification button. And we'll see y'all next time. See We're ya. Getting the heck out of shape.